typical. Six definitions. Overhung impeller type. The impeller is mounted on the end of a shaft which is overhung to the power of from its bearing supports. Example, close coupled pumps where the impeller is mounted directly on the motor shaft. Separately coupled or frame mounted where the impeller is mounted on a separate pump shaft supported by its own bearings. Impeller between bearings type. The impeller is mounted on a shaft with the bearings at both ends. The impeller is mounted between bear into the power of. Example, axial split, horizontal split case, axial split vertical split case. 7 overhung impeller close coupled. 8 overhung impeller, frame mounted. 9 impeller between bearings, horizontal split. 10 impeller between bearings, vertical split. 11 axial and radial flow, axial flow pump, the impeller pushes the liquid in a direction parallel to the pump shaft. Most of the pressure is developed propelling or lifting the veins on the liquid. 12 axial and radial flow continued to the power of, radial flow pump, pressure is developed principally by centrifugal force action, the liquid enters at the center of the impeller and is directed out along the impeller, perpendicular to the pump shaft. 13 Operating Principles As mentioned earlier, centrifugal pump relies on the centrifugal force. When you swing a bucket of water around over your head, you will find that as you increase the speed, the bucket is pulled harder against your arm. This pull on your arm is the centrifugal force. It makes no difference if you swing the bucket horizontal or vertical. If the speed is fast enough, then the water will remain on the bucket. 14 Operation Principles Continued If you punch a small hole on the bottom of bucket, the water throws a stream and the distance the water travels is proportional to the centrifugal force. The same force that kept water in the bucket is how the simple centrifugal pump works. 15 Operation Principles Continued Centrifugal pump consists of a rotating impeller inside a stationary volute casing. Comma, liquid enters the pump through the suction inlet into the eye of the impeller. The speed of the rotating impeller then forces the liquid out through the discharge nozzle. 16 operation principles continued to the power of, the liquid enters the inlet of the centrifugal pump under atmospheric pressure, and flows into the eye of the impeller. The centrifugal force exerted on the liquid by the rotating impeller, moves the liquid away from the impeller eye and out along the impeller veins to their extreme tip where the liquid is then forced against the inside walls of the volute and out through the discharge of the pump, due to the reduction of pressure. Occurring at pump inlet and impeller eye, liquid is drawn into the pump in continuous flow as it moves through the pump. 17 Operation Principles continued to the power of, the shape of the volute casing is such that it is wider at the discharge point than where the liquid is first forced by the impeller against the volute. When the water from the impeller strikes the side of the volute, the velocity is increased. This accelerated motion is called kinetic energy to the power of, which is the energy in motion. The shape of the volute permits the liquid to expand, which slows down the motion of the liquid. As soon as the liquid slows down inside the volute, kinetic energy is transformed into pressure. This pressure then forces the liquid out of the pump discharge nozzle into the outlet pipelines. 18 Nomenclature and Description 19 Nomenclature and Description continued to the power of, the diagram shows the main parts of the centrifugal pump, the impeller is fastened to the shaft, the shaft passes through the pump casing and out through the stuffing box, portion of the casing through which the shaft extends and where seal or packing is placed, in order to keep the liquid from leaking out of the casings between the stuffing box and the shaft. Packing or mechanical seal is used, the shaft is supported by two bearing housing and is then connected by a coupling installed between the pump shaft and the motor shaft. 20 Nomenclature and Description continued to the power of 21 Different Types of Impeller The impeller of a centrifugal pump can be of three types. Open impeller, the veins are cast free on both sides. Semi-open impeller, the veins are free on one side and enclosed on the other. Enclosed impeller. The veins are located between the two discs, all in a single casting. 22 Centrifugal Pump Curves Characteristics Head and Capacity A rating curve indicates the relationship between the head, pressure, developed by the pump and the flow through the pump based on a particular speed and impeller diameter when handling a liquid. As the capacity increases, the total head which the pump is capable of developing decreases, in general. The highest head the centrifugal pump can develop is at the point where there is no flow through the pump.
23 centrifugal pump curves characteristics continued to the power of BHP, brake horsepower, and capacity. For the centrifugal pump to deliver the capacity we want, we must supply the pump with a certain HP, generally. The HP increases as we increase the capacity, BHP, is the total power required by a pump to do a specified amount of work. BHP equals QXHX SPGR 3960X efficiency. 24 centrifugal pump curves characteristics continued to the power of efficiencies. Efficiency of a pump can be calculated by F equals QXHX SPGRX 100-3960 XHP where F equals efficiency percent. Q equals capacity delivered by the pump H equals head developed by the pump SPGR equals specific gravity of liquid being pumped HP equals horsepower required by the pump. 25 centrifugal pump curves characteristics continued to the power of 3960 is a constant linking HP 33000 FTLBS min to a US GPM 8.333 LBS 33000 equals 3968.333 26 centrifugal pump curves characteristics continued to the power of NPSHN capacity, the curve shows the relationship between the capacity which the pump will deliver and the NPSH, net positive suction head, which is required for proper operation of the pump at that capacity, lack of NPSH measured in feet of the liquid pumping, will cause the pump to operate improperly and cause cavitation. F the pump at that capacity, lack of NPSH measured in feet of the liquid pumping, will cause the pump to operate improperly and cause cavitations. 27 centrifugal pump curves characteristics continued to the power of overall rating by plotting all the characteristics of a centrifugal pump on one coordinate system, we can define the capabilities and limitations of the pump. 28 Specific Speed Specific speed is used to describe the geometry, shape, of a pump impeller. Performance of centrifugal pump is expressed in terms of pump speed, total head and required flow. Specific speed is calculated using the formula below at pumps BEP. Formula, specific speed, ends, equals NQN, speed of pump, RPM, H, 3 slash 4, Q, flow, H, head. 29 Specific speed continued to the power of 30 centrifugal pump curves. Characteristics continued to the power of system curves, pressure loss and friction loss simple system with point A and B on same level assume a line through which liquid is flowing and also assume heat exchangers. Valves and other items which add to total friction loss friction loss through the system will increase as we increase the capacity, velocity friction loss is proportional to the square of capacity at zero flow, there is no friction loss. 31 centrifugal pump curves. Characteristics continued to the power of, point B is higher than point A necessary to add energy to the fluid to get to point B from A. The amount of energy required is exactly equal to the difference in elevation between point A and B, assuming friction loss as before. 32 centrifugal pump curves. Characteristics continued to the power of, friction curve will be the same in both systems because the friction loss is the same. We just added constant amount of head at any capacity to get the liquid from one point to another. 33 centrifugal pump curves characteristics continued to the power of, assume pressure at point A different than pressure at point B if we take suction at point A from an open tank and discharge it at point B in a closed tank. Even though point A and B are at the same level, we must still overcome the differential pressure between both points. 34 centrifugal pump curves characteristics continued to the power of, selecting a pump, A system requires 275 GPM capacity through the system. Delivers 165 feet of head. Performance curve shows 172 feet of head required. The point of intersection between the pump's performance curve and the system requirement curve represents the capacity at which the pump will operate. 35 Affinity Laws Affinity Laws are the performance of centrifugal pumps based on change in speed, power, flow, head. Impeller diameter, flow changes directly as A change in speed or diameter, head changes as the square of A change in speed or diameter, horsepower changes as the cube of A change in speed or diameter. 36 Affinity Laws continued to the power of 37 Advantages and Disadvantages of Centrifugal Pumps Centrifugal pumps are the most widely used type of pump for the transfer of liquids. There are many advantages and disadvantages associated with centrifugal pumps. Advantages 
simple operation, low first cost and maintenance, insignificant excessive pressure buildup and casing, impeller and shaft are the only moving parts, quiet operations, wide range of